all right welcome back guys so we've been able to successfully open our android emulator and now let me quickly say at this point that if for any reason you're having some issues with opening your android emulator your first point of um, call should be to check on google if you get some kind of error like maybe there's a problem just take that error and google it i'm sure there are thousands of people that have had the same error and the result would definitely be online okay so that should be the first point of call and then if you've done that and you're still not able to open your android emulator you can reach out to us either on udemy support or on twitter okay all right my handle is at xeno trust okay so let's continue so now what we're going to do is we're going to launch our project and open it in our android emulator okay so let me bring up my code editor all right so it's just going to be side by side all right guys but before you run your app on android emulator there's a command i would like you to run to prepare your app okay before you run it on android emulator and um, let me just quickly bring up my um so this is the command i want you to run ionic cordova prepare android it will help you it will prepare your application for um deployment to the android emulator or to your device whichever one you want so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to so just look at it ionic cordova prepare android okay that's what you're going to um, run so um, i'm going to bring this down and i'm just going to type it out so i'll say ionic cordova prepare android okay and i'm going to hit enter so we're going to give it some a few moments to run this command all right now the command has um, finished running so what I want you to do before you finally run your um, project on the emulator or in the future, before you actually build your project, I want you to come to just scroll down and locate config.xml file. Okay, click on config.xml file and I want you to um, make some changes here. Okay then the app description can be something like you know stuff like that okay then change the email to your email the href to your website and then you can also change the text that is written here to it can just be your you know and so what is very important actually is the id okay so if you look here it's io.ionic.starter okay so i'm going to change that to something like com dot healthy woman dot app okay so this is like the very important for you to change okay and you can leave the version as is 0.0.1 .0 okay but later on in the future when you want to update your app you're just going to have to increment this so if i wanted to like deploy an update to maybe google play store i'm just going to change this to two okay but for now it's fine like this okay so basically these are just some basic things that you will change so things like the name the description the email the website very importantly the id okay the widget id okay so those are things that you should definitely change before you then either run your app or you know transfer your app to android studio which we're going to do in subsequent videos all right now let's bring up our toolkit all right so um to launch your project on android emulator right so first you need to open android emulator and then you need to run this command okay so let me just click to copy this right so this is for android emulator we can also launch on a device 
like if you connect your device to um with a usb cord to your computer you can run your application on your device but since we have android studio let's start with android studio so i've copied the command and i'll bring this down and i'll paste so maybe i should just close this and then i'll paste the command here so let's just you know look at the command before we press enter so we are running our application on an our android application on the emulator that's what this dash dash emulator means but then we are flagging it with this live reload um, command what that means is that anytime we make a change here it will reload on the android um, emulator and that change will reflect okay so that's basically what this means so i'm going to press enter and give it a while because this actually takes some time so i'm just going to be patient and wait for it to build and run the application on the android emulator all right so the process is complete and you see here run successful and if you give it a minute it will open the application in uh um it will open the application in the android emulator so if you are doing it for the first time sometimes it can be slow and you can see the application we've created oh let me go to the menu and hopefully it will open smoothly so i'll just drag this up to look for the application and so this is the application it's named my app but don't worry about the name that's because we've not set all of those things so i'll click on this to open it up and i hope you saw the welcome screen okay All right, so this is the application inside of um, Android Studio, okay? If I click on this guy here, the first menu, you see that it opens the page we set, okay? So basically, we can test our application. And remember when we set the um, back button, such that when we click on this back button, it goes back to the home page. So let me click on this. And for some reason, it's not going back to the home page. All right, so I'm going to debug this later. Um, so because I don't want us to, you know, make any video extremely lengthy. Okay, so this is a minor issue. We're going to debug it later. Maybe when we even test it on the device, it will just work fine. Okay, so but what we're going to do now is we are going to, um, in the next lecture, we're going to set up AdMob, okay, on the application. But then just to check that the live reload is actually working, I'm going to, maybe I'll go back to the home page and I'll change something on the home page. So maybe, um, let me come here and go to, okay, so this is home and home.page.html. Okay, so let me just change the learn more on the button. So I'll just add a dot to the learn more and I'll save. And let's see if the live reload works okay so you see as I saved this home page right the um, page reloaded on the emulator and we can see that there's a dot on the learn more so we have our live reload working fine okay so in the next lecture what we are going to do is we are going to set up google admob okay we're going to set up google admob and we're going to see the ads display on the emulator okay so it's very important lecture you need to pay attention and if you need to watch it even twice to get the gist you can do that all right thank you so much and see you in the next lecture